YouTube. Dutch Sense here. It is 3.54 p.m. Saturday, April 2nd, 2011. Hope everybody's having a good day. And this is your global earthquake and volcano forecast and update. And I've got the earthquake 3D up. And of course, that's going to show us all the USGS fed earthquakes. Of course, this is just maybe half or less than half of the actual earthquakes that are occurring on the planet. And this is turned down a little bit less than one day, so you're seeing about a day's activity through the USGS's eyes. And of course, I'm going to start here in the United States, and we're just going to work our way down and over and try and cover as many areas as we can in the 15 minutes that YouTube allots me. I don't want to do more than one part here. So what we're looking at, of course, is the um, Yellowstone south of Jackson Hole area, and this is from late last night, early this morning, 4.1 occurred. Now, to the southwest, of course, Baja California is still experiencing its swarm, and if I just turn it down for a couple days, you can really see it. Baja is starting to show some definite increase in activity. Okay, and let me just turn it back down so we can just do this one day first. And you can see down here in the Puerto Rico and Haiti area, you're still continuing to swarm. And South America, Chile, you're, you're looking at multiple fours and fives. And that's again in the same affected region. And that goes basically from the uh, twist in this handle here all the way down to the southern tip. And they're experiencing some serious movement up in the um, Andes Mountains here. So when I look at this, and I'll just turn this up for the past seven days almost now to show you what's happened. When I look at this, I see what's continuing to be a ramp up in activity on the North American plate. The North American craton, the old undisturbed plate that roughly lies along the mountain range and down here through Texas and back up along the um, the Smoky Mountains and I think that's the Catskills all the way up to Canada is this old undisturbed section of plate and it goes down very far and what it looks like to me is occurring is the pressure from this side of the Western Pacific Ring of Fire all the professionals are saying is that it's transferring pressure and that's to be expected if you're gonna get a bunch of movement over on this side of the plate then you can pretty much expect a bunch of movement on this side of the plate. It's just basic cause and reaction. So when you look at the United States, you can see beyond California now, and there's so many that, here, let me turn this up so we can, that beyond California, you can see there's disturbance that's occurring in the Pacific Northwest, Yellowstone, and along the southern and periphery edge of the Craton of the plate because it fans out okay at the surface it's still the same but underneath it fans out underneath so you actually got a thicker section here and a thinner section coming out here and so it looks like the edges of the craton are being disturbed and so anywhere along this edge you're going to experience earthquakes and the swarm that's occurring down here in Baja looks to me almost like several of the prognosticators have, have said that California may go with a big earthquake here. I'm still thinking it's going to be the Cascadia, and let me show you why really quick. There's been a series of highway collapses right along the northern ed edge of California, um, a series of um, landslides and sinkholes that have opened up up through Washington State up to and including a subdivision that fell into a fissure. Now each of these volcanoes here has been showing activity as well and I'm not talking about eruption but I'm talking about harmonic tremor and slight earthquake activity occurring at each spot. So let's just go down the list here and look at what's happening happening at Mount Baker We'll do that one first. Perfect. This is a good example of background quiet, and then it picks up to a harmonic tremor, which is magma flow underneath the ground. 
and it's evidenced over several hours of activity. Mount Baker ski area. Okay, again, you can see some above baseline. And that's good though that Mount Baker is not showing the signs it was about a month ago. Okay, here's Glacier Peak. They actually have an earthquake registered up there that's not showing up on the real-time feed from the USGS. Here's Mount Rainier. Again, some earthquake activity, for sure. And the reason I go through all the Rainiers is because of its close proximity to um, large population centers. Again, this looks pretty wild. Let's go back a day and check that out. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's go back and look at this for a second. This is Rainier Camp Sherman. That looks like some activity at Rainier. Maybe some venting? Outgassing of steam, maybe? A large amount? Yeah, okay, these are telltale, again, these are harmonic tremors, which is slightly different than harmonic flow. These are actual swarms of minute earthquakes. This is actually the sign that something might be going on at Rainier. Several small earthquakes, and that's fracturing occurring beneath the, the, the ground. Okay, here's Rainier again. And that's an obvious earthquake right in the middle, a few hours back now. And Rainier St. Andrews Peak. Wow. Okay, well, it looks like Rainier is definitely experiencing an uptick in activity. Let's check out St. Helens. Old Dome, pretty quiet. Now, the west and south is where you usually see activity on St. Helens. Okay, there we go. Earthquake on St. Helens. St. Helens South, totally quiet. Helens June Lake, wow, okay. This is harmonic flow over the course of 15, 20 minutes, and then it goes back down, and then it comes back up for an, several hours, and an earthquake. And that earthquake's probably about a two, two and a half. These are more like ones. Okay, St. Helens Cedar Flats. We're almost through all these guys. I have to go through them all to verify what's going on. There you go, St. Helens Cedar Flats. Look at that. Okay, that is noticeable harmonic movement. So you have movement, again, you've got earthquake and movement activity at St. Helens and Rainier. Looks like I'm just gonna have to check all these. Wow, even Mount Adams. Harmonic flow. I think something's something is moving in the Pacific Northwest. We've got an uptick. Wow, wow. Tom, Dick, and Harry showing some activity. And that's a big time change. Okay, we need to go back and look at other Tom, Dick, and Harry plots. All these links are going to be down below, by the way. If you want to go look and click back through all these and you can see. Okay, here's Tom, Dick, and Harry. Look at this. Oh, boy. Okay. And here's Mount Hood. Wow, even earth, earthquake and some minor harmonic flow at Mount, Mount Hood. And then these two have not been updated since 314. Okay, here's Crater Lake. Totally quiet, 100%. Well, that to me says activity is going on up in the Northwest. We're gonna to have to keep an eye on that. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, monitor these sites, okay? And let's quickly look at Yellowstone. Wow, okay, Yellowstone is showing some chart. Let me refresh this. Yellowstone 
Movement across the board at Yellowstone, guys. Every station showing magma flow underneath the ground. With some earthquake activity on top of the 4.1 that happened. That's additional earthquake activity on here. Let's just click on Madison River, for instance. This gives you a really good idea. For those of you who don't understand seismographs at all, this would be your typical earthquake. Okay? It, it hits and then it rumbles out. This is harmonic magma flow over the course of several hours. A, a steady rumble. And that's all over the park right now. So we are experiencing in the Pacific Northwest some serious movement, which means to me I need to go to the Siri web recorders and check the Midwest. Okay, these are the web recorders for the Midwest region. And let's just go down and look at a couple of these and see what's going on. Indiana, quiet. Missouri, slight tremor activity it looks like. Here's in Siri's own basement. So they do have some, some movement. Let's go back and look at a couple of these. Uh, that's a normal baseline for them. So, and I'm guessing this is in an industrial or, or residential area, but you can even see throughout that that there are some spikes in activity. And let's check St. Louis here. Well, here's Poplar Bluff, Southern Missouri, along the New Madrid. Wow. Are you kidding me? Okay, here's a baseline of what it's supposed, what it would look like when it's calm. So it looks to me like Poplar Bluff and New Madrid has some movement. Yep, and an earthquake. Portageville, not reported. Oh my goodness, more earthquakes, not reported. This is something you guys always have to keep an eye out on: are these earthquakes that are not being reported on the USGS maps. But yet, they here they are, for all to see, recorded. I mean, this station here is quiet in Carbondale. Let's check St. Louis, this is where I'm from. Pretty quiet. Oh, look down here, there you go. You've got some kind of strange seismic movement. I don't really, hmm. Let's go back and look a little bit more. Hmm, they got whole sections missing. Okay, and let's check Little Rock. That's right near Greenbrier. See, and this is how you know the activity that's that's being recorded is not coming from Greenbrier. That's actually an earthquake in Portageville. And let's check Southern... Indiana, Evansville, looks pretty quiet across the board there, and there you have it. So movement in the Midwest too. So United States, we've got movement at all the volcanoes up here. We've got an earthquake swarm occurring down in Baja, California. Yellowstone is showing signs of magma movement, and the Midwest is having earthquakes that aren't being reported. Portageville, Missouri, I mean, there's no earthquakes re reported in Missouri. And this is the last seven days. We, got, we were looking at a real-time past two days scenario. So that to me is a definite sign. So all in all, I'd say the earthquake threat in the United States is increasing. And so you're looking at anywhere from the Pacific Northwest down to Baja, California. Follow this line right along here. And this is the area that's going to be a threat. This giant U-shape along the North American Craton. It's truly an unprecedented time to be looking at earthquakes and to be paying attention to these. Much love to everybody. Thank you for paying attention. And the European and Asian broadcast will be done next. The links for all the U.S. sites are down below. Cheers, everybody.